last year we donated 394 pounds of fresh vegetables to the Food Bank of Delaware. Um, and the, the garden is small. It's four raised beds um, that are four by eight and then a 30-foot tomato border. But we pack a lot of vegetables in that small space and so we're able to donate a large amount of, of produce to the Food Bank of Delaware. And we encourage all of the people that take our vegetable gardening workshops to do the same. We have signs advertising Plant a Road for the Hungry program out back, and then people that come off the path and come into the garden, um, whenever we um, speak to the public, we're always promoting that. Um, no matter how small a space you have, there's some little row that you can put in an extra row and donate that produce. Master gardeners that work at the, on the vegetable demonstration team, they we all take turns actually delivering the um, harvest to the Food Bank of Delaware and sometimes they get to interact with some of the public there and it's very rewarding to hear about their stories and how much they appreciate the fresh vegetables that come through. There's a large uh, population that doesn't have access to fresh vegetables and so they're so appreciative. There was one of our um, master gardeners that works on the vegetable demonstration team that shared a story with everyone. She went and she um, delivered the fall harvest and so there was a lot of variety there and there were people that were there um, at the time that she made that delivery and they were just so excited to see that and they said you have no idea how much we appreciate this. We have a garden in spring, summer and in the fall and sometimes some years we even overwinter a plot and so when most um, homeowners garden ends at the end of the summer, ours continues all the way through into November. And actually, um, last year in December, we harvested uh, Brussels sprouts and made a delivery then. And so that's something that usually a um, lot, lot of homeowners don't put a fall garden in. So that's some kind of fresh vegetables that are um, in short supply at that time of the year. I did a cooking with greens workshop and one of the beds I sewed all with greens and there's dandelion greens out there, there's Chinese broccoli out there, kale, collards, um, Swiss chard, all kinds of different greens that people don't usually purchase at the store, um, wouldn't necessarily grow at home, but are very nutritious and so it gives us an opportunity to donate a lot of nice vegetables.